To successfully deliver life-changing medicines, it is crucial that patients are treated as equal partners in the planning and delivery of clinical development programs. Bionicle EMAS are working with patient advocacy groups to ensure patients' voices are heard and that programs are specifically tailored to the needs of each rare disease community. Living with a rare disease is stressful. And I'm hoping to go home this morning. Lara Bloom has Ehlers Danlos syndrome, which damages her connective tissues and necessitates frequent hospital visits. There's currently no cure or effective treatment for EDS, but Lara believes that involving patients in every stage of clinical development gives the best hope of a breakthrough. Patients need to be involved from the very beginning right through to the end because they're the narrative, they're the experience, they're the why. And without that, then you're not going to get a really effective trial, research study, any form of process really. It's about your lived experience. That's what nobody else around the table can provide. And that is what the patient, the person's voice brings. And they're more than a patient. They're a husband, they're a wife, they're a parent, they're a sibling, they're a partner. They work, they may study, and that's what needs to come. Engaging with patients as equal partners and with specialized teams working in rare diseases, Bionicle EMAS is a clinical research organization supporting global medical innovation by ensuring that the lived experience of those with rare conditions helps to co-design the research to treat them. Working with leading biotech and pharma companies worldwide, Bionicle EMAS bring life-changing medicines to patients through clinical development, early access programs and clinical trial supply, making sure that engagement with patients is far more than a tick box exercise. The rare disease team are made up of, of global patient advocacy and rare disease insight specialists and they really drive our patient centricity. They engage with the patient community and they work to understand the individual conditions that we're working with so that we can really truly understand the different nuances of those conditions and the challenges that the patients and the families face. And the more that we can bring their voice in as a key stakeholder in terms of understanding you know, what they're going through, what, what support they might need, then, then all of that goes towards raising awareness around the need to do more to bring life-changing medicines to them. Bionicle EMAS say that when setting up clinical development programmes, patient involvement should be early, often and transparent, with two-way feedback to ensure mutual understanding. Leading the global patient advocacy team, Naomi Litchfield's own experience of having a sister with a rare condition has made her passionate about giving a voice to patients and their families. I've cared for many of these families and really understand the challenges that they live with every day and how hard it is. It's really hard. So I'm compelled to speak up for them and to support them and make sure that other people are listening. Once we've listened and learned and they've commented, what are we going to do with that information? We're going to take it on board and this is what we've amended, this is what we've done with that information and now it's so important to feed that back to them and say this is what we've learned from you thank you for your time this is how valuable you are my name is Lara Bloom as a professor of patient engagement at a US university Lara teaches a new generation of medical students about the importance of involving patients as key and equal stakeholders who truly make a difference the most satisfying thing that you can see when your, your input changes things is often when it's to do with the lived experience of symptom management, something that people may not have thought about but really impacts your day-to-day -day and would make a difference in your quality of life. Learning from that personal experience will create better outcomes and brighter futures for those living with rare diseases.